In this video, we are going to revisit the kinetic theory model. So, Robert Brown first observed pollen particles moving around very erratically under a microscope. The term Brownian motion was given to the particles that would be confirmed to be atoms in a famous paper in 1905 by none other than Albert Einstein. Kinetic theory is based upon the idea that gases are made up of separate, individual particles in continuous motion. They seem to be random in their motion, but there are some very important rules managing their motion. There are five assumptions of kinetic theory. Number one, gases are composed of separate, tiny particles. These are so far apart on the average that the total space or volume taken up by the particles themselves are not significant when compared with the total volume taken up by the gas. So that means that gases are mostly made up of empty space. Number two, gas particles are in constant, rapid, straight-line motion until they strike another. Because they are moving, they have kinetic energy. The pressure of a gas is the effect of these particles colliding with each other and the walls of the container. Number three, the collisions between particles are completely elastic. This means that no kinetic energy is changed to heat or other forms of energy as a result of the collisions. The total kinetic energy of the molecules remains the same as long as the temperature and volume don't change. Number 4. The molecules of a gas display no attraction or repulsion for one another. They don't stick to one another, nor do they push on one another. Number 5. At any particular moment, the molecules in a gas have different velocities. The mathematical formula for kinetic energy is Ke equal to half m times v squared, where m is mass and v is velocity. Because the molecules have different velocities, they have different kinetic energies. However, it is assumed that the average kinetic energy of the molecules is directly proportional to the absolute Kelvin temperature of the gas. This is the most important thing to remember. As the temperature rises, the particles gain kinetic energy at a molecular level and move faster. The kinetic energy of particles at different temperatures is not constant throughout the material. At 100 Kelvin, 200 and 300 Kelvin shows that the speed of the molecules does increase but also spreads out. This is called a Maxwell-Boltzmann curve and will be important later on. Temperature and pressure are needed to describe any volume of gas. It's measured in Kelvin because the Kelvin temperature reflects the actual kinetic energy of the particles. It's easy to calculate by adding the Celsius temperature and adding 273. The volume of a gas means nothing unless the conditions under which it is collected are known. Temperature. When temperature changes, the motion of gas particles changes, causing a change in the gas volume. Pressure. Gases can be compressed or squeezed, causing a change in the gas volume. Often scientists like to have a reference point. For gases, that means STP or standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure or STP 
standard temperature is degrees, 0 Celsius or 273 Kelvin. All gas calculations must use Kelvin temperatures. Notice it is K, not degrees K. You say Kelvins, not degrees Kelvins. I think you might be ready to tackle the concept and lessons if you have completed both Back to Basics modules.